games on the way. Jumping, Sam Grant, Hakeem Silla. It'll be interesting to see who wins it. But Sam Grant's a bit taller. All secured by Reese Pinnock. Using their bodies in order to create space for the guards. Blaine turns, gets it to convert. Sam Grant getting up that shot. Oh, doesn't get it to go. Bernard secures another rebound. Hakeem Silla found. Gets the add one to convert. The guy's a Swiss Army knife. He can do a lot. Foul on Sam Grant. One to come. Building eight guys, you can't afford to run out of players, especially not in the first four minutes of the game. Oh, throws the four, ball hard. Literal Maitland able to find Sam Tolawasi, who finds strength. The ball stuck. <laughs> What's that there? Finding the. Oh! Akeem Silla says, get that out of here, man. Tom Martin into the game also. As Ayman uses that left hand, I know he's going to use it. He's got it all right over Jakub Taustas. Bernard Hetro low post. Oh, finds Blaine Frockerton anyway in the corner. Gets it to go. Once he gets it in the air, it's, hard, it's very hard to stop him indeed. Anyone who knows him. Kate gets a shot up. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound by Dian. Oh, Dian Kulu misses the whole rim all together. Taylor Johnson gets the fast break going. He's very good at doing that as he gets two points to go. 29 to the, ten, to the Cavs. He's certainly got a lot of talent. Yep. He can do quite a lot of the oh. oh, looks like Reese Pinnock has stolen the ball. Oh, gets it to go. Seems like he's like a bit of, of a firecracker underneath the Reading Rockets. Tom Martin bring up the ball. Oh, <laughs> Ball gets in front of him and behind him. Oh, not only can he block, ladies and gents, he can also shoot the three. Perfect assist from Tom. Ogun Koya, yeah, perfect decision by Tom, almost losing it. <laughs> I wasn't sure that he had actually crossed the line, but uh, the ref knows best. Oh, it looks like Bernard Hector just pinned some grants, but actually, foul was drawn. He needs to be careful now because you know, they've amassed 14 fouls quite quickly as well. Okay, so guys, if you're listening in, make sure that you're subscribing to the Basketball England page on YouTube, of course, which is probably where you're watching it. Just hit that red button there, it does help. And also, why would you not want to know, one, where the top competition has been played in England? And I said England, not Britain, for the reason that this is not the BBL. And also, if you are not tired of hearing my voice, hit that subscribe button, why not? Hi, segue. Oh, looks like he was going to shoot it there. Gives it to Taylor Johnson, who pump fakes and gets it to go. He's very good at doing that. One by three in the end, double Yeah, one by three in the end. Silla steals the ball again. Wow. Tenth Valley Cavaliers do, sure are doing the job of stealing the rock. Another three for Lewis Champion. It's getting a bit hectic out here. Just to answer your, what you said, Jamie. Yes, I do believe BBL and NBL are comparable, but I believe as far as last season, mainly because the BBL really have up there, up the ante in terms of who they signed. Sam Grant has got the three to go. Finally got it, young man. Good shot. Good stuff. Impossible. Yeah, it. Impossible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wow. He's definitely smart. He avoided the charge. They have 53 points with five seconds left to go in the half. That seems quite realistic. Chuck to hit it in the corner. Oh, oh gets Chuck. it to go. Chuck with his, gets three to go, his de debut bucket for today's game. Chuck has actually spent some time at the Essex Leopards as well. Now the Open Wolves. Alan Kane doesn't look a happy man at the moment, does he? Not at all. Another rebound for Brenda Hehetra though. Lewis gets the ball in the corner, hits the three. Might have been a foul as he hits the ground. <laughs> He's doing the aeroplane motion. I mean, maybe he learnt that from the Bristol Flyers. It looked like he was a plane there. The mum as, ooh, looks like Lewis Champion hits, hits the ground. I hope he's, ooh, his, hope he's got his teeth in check. He looks all right, shaking it off. You know, the older you get, the longer it takes you to get back up. I remember when he was a young boy. Here comes Roger. <laughs> That's it. Dave Pozingis. Could he start a good run here? Grantland. He's done something there. Oh, that looks like a it's charge. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Sam Thomas is still flying out the gym. But a foul drawn by the Reading Rockets. They need to stop doing all these... T oh! Yes. Reese Pinnock saves the day with that block. <laughs> Blaine Frockton does what he does best. Time to draw a couple fouls, which it looks like 
so it's well he found a basket which is, to stop, I, which is no. good Re <laughs> no it's doable and, this, and grant gets it up yes mr grant as you can see just um, put the government juice away as i'm on camera what's up guys l lynch trophy game one of day two of group two final score 85 71 favoring the Thames valley cavaliers And there we go. Jordan Try from Jordan. To go. Man who can do everything. Yeah. Quite surprising. I mean, granted, he's definitely not above six foot six. He's probably going to have to, as Toby Gasoli Davis hits his a three of his own. Get a six point guard. And there's Jack. Man. Good first to speak in Santiago. Yeah, man. He's he made my heart free rush just Jarell, like, oh, a big three from Jarrell. Jarrell Fox Lane. Be... Yeah, big shout out to Roger. Big ro shout out to Roger. Big shout out to Roger. Oh, what a we give to be young again. As he shows some energy, showing his strength that he's picked up in college. So that's a storm ball, but they've only got 13 seconds on the shot clock. Timeout called by Tom Baker of the Open Wolves. As long as, as long as Heat let me in, you know. Yeah. Oh, Shaq Lewis did something that I thought was a travel, but I was able to get the rebound, cheats it again. Oh yeah, he gets it to go, Shaquille Lewis, he's <laughs> taking the game by storm. So Tom Wade is having a motivation speech to these guys in terms of instructing them what they should be doing. Make sure that you like, subscribe to Basketball England and follow all the games for the Lynch Trophy. And Tosin. That's it. Oh, the alley oop thrown by Bodhi Aguilaola. He does. Bodhi, you call, is it? Steph. Oh, oh, Steph, yes. Evan. On the other hand, we've got Evan there doing that. Now shooting, we've got. <laughs> he has four today, so we're doing a good job in making sure he doesn't catch anything. Everything. Oh, ooh, that was a. It's now a two point game. Good shot by Drew Lane. That was a. When I hit that team winning shot. Has it really? Oh, Evan <laughs> Walsh with the. Whoop de woo! I don't even know what to call that, man. That's a uh, that's smooth to say the least. He gets hand one. He's done a couple of. I think we're just going nice, shall we? Ball in the hands of Evan Walsh driving. Oh, gets the turn around, finds Obi, who hits the shot. Lovely shot from Obi there. A charge on his behalf. Oh, oh, and there has been something called there. <laughs> there we go. Evan Walsh draws a uh, offensive foul in zone. This time on Greg Polian. Greg Polian smiling like I knew. Oh, that, okay. Oh, that was a good move. Oh, that's a charge. That is a charge. It's not a charge, apparently. It's a foul on the floor. Dave Ryan started commentating on the 17th of October. Finished commentating on the 17th. Three points for Evan Walsh. Game is now drawn, ladies and gents. We've got a game on the hands. That shot told a lie in this instance. Shaq shoots it with speed, gets it to drop. Nick Allen advancing the ball. He looks like he's going for a layup. Ooh. Oh, Shaq chasing up again. Uh, I think Mike is going to shoot it again because he's been hot. Wow. And he's hit it again, ladies and gents. Four in a row. Of course, just give him a little heat. Yeah, he's got a fairly decent three-point shot as well. Yeah, the big guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Levi not quite sure what to do with it. Putting him in the blender, gets it to go. Just to deal with my poor wife. Ooh, Evan's giving, giving him the spanky. <laughs> oh, give it to him for that. <laughs> yep. Deal by Evan Walsh, he's going to the hole. Yep, gets the go-ahead layup. Hopefully he'll come back next week. Oh, we're stuck.
Hey guys, welcome once again to another game of the L Lynch Trophy. You can see that Justin's back with me. Nice to meet you guys again. <laughs> He's come back from Barbados, not really, but uh, week three in venue two of the L Lynch Trophy. We are here in Oakland's College and we're about to have the showdown between the Thames Valley Cavaliers and Hemel Storm. Just, who do you think is going to win this game and why, brother? Um, my favourites for this game is going to be the Hemel Storm. I think they've got a bit more depth on their bench. Okay. And obviously they've been winning games quite convincingly. Well, who about, what about you, T? Me, I have to keep it with the Thames Valley Cavaliers because, you know, these guys came second in the league last year. Um, they've got a lot of scoring power, rebounding power. And, uh, you know, they, they've been most convincing in the win so far. So it'll be interesting to see. Just as the game starts, probably we should talk a bit about what the starting fives are going to be, man. Um, I have, well, you can announce your team there. Okay, I'm going to so talk the Hemel Storm, we're going with Mike Williams at number zero. Five, Boldy. Number eight, um, Levi Knowles. Fifteen, Teo. And 21, Greg Polian. For the Thames Valley Cavaliers, you're going to have number zero, Ayman Resk. You're going to have Bernard Hehetro, number 22. Blaine Ferguson, number seven. Hakeem Silla, number one, and Lewis Champion, number four, coached by Bob Banks, assistant coach Pete Depich. Uh, you want to shout out your your refs? Sorry, your um, your coaches? So my coaches today are Drew Spinks, who is head coach, and assistant coach is Michael Darlow, former player for the Hummel Storm. Now, something that's quite interesting, I want to see if it's going to be a, a matter of muscle. There's a lot of muscle on both teams. We, we speak about muscle quite often. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see Hakeem Silla go against Greg Polian because these are guys that can definitely fill up the, uh, fill up the stats. Uh, Cheat. Well, I think Greg Polian is pure gym and I don't think Silla is strong enough, but Silla might be more athletic in that department. So it's going to be a, a battle between these two, definitely. And I would like to see the matchup between Boldy and Lewis Champion. Lewis Champion's obviously returning back to D1 after playing a, seat, well, a few seasons with the Bristol Flyers. And obviously, Blaine Freckerton matched up with Mike Williams. Everyone's taking a knee in support of the Black Lives Matter. Just as that finalises the, the stance towards the Black Lives Matter movement, it's quite good to see that Boston Moon are supporting. Um, players expressing their needs for that. Ball in the hands of Levi Noel to get things going. Taylor wide open. Taylor not able to hit the first shots. Taylor Yafusi normally gets the first shots, in fact, in the last two games I've commentated. Now, we know Blaine Freckerton is a lethal shooter from behind the arc, so that was a bit of a misassignment from Hemel, leaving him wide open like that. We can expect to see a lot more shoots, a lot of, a lot more shots from Blaine Freckleton. And um, I remember him saying that he's not only a shooter, he can do a bit of, well, a bit more than that. We're about to see tonight in this showdown. There we go. Mike Williams gets it, doesn't get it to go. I wouldn't shoot over Ayman Resk, the big 6'10". Good hands. Good hands by Mike Williams. Too Holding strong. Going up. <laughs> Quick, easy, 3-2 in favour of the Valley Cavaliers. That was very smart by Blaine getting out of the way of that train. Yeah, no need catching an early foul. And he's he's going to be in the game for foul, uh, for shots. And like we said, rebound, basket good by, I believe that was Silla. Yeah, it was Silla, man. Very athletic around the rim. And he's a good rim protector. So I want to see how he guards Greg here. As always, I think this is going to be a game of not fouling as Ayman Rex recovers the rebounds. I think whoever gets in more fouls may find it's uh, an easier day, well, a harder day to come out with a victory. Guys, if you guys are listening in on YouTube, please let us know where you're listening from and let us know who you're supporting and let us know what juice you are holding. I am with the O Natural, which is water. I'm not sure what language that is. That's what you got there. Me, I've got cranberry juice. I'm keeping it nice and clean for me today. Okay, cool. Getting into comments early. Oh, I think Teo should have went up with his left hand there. If you remember what I said, this is uh, the battle of the bigs here. It's not so easy to shoot with someone who's 6'10 on you. Mm. Miss free by Lewis Champion. Here comes Hemel. I 
think Ayman wanted to get signed by Tottenham Hotspur there, showing off his football skills. <laughs> <laughs> Very quick in the reaction for someone of that height. Um, he's a returner, able to shoot the three. Lucky lefty also, like Justin Hitchman here. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to encourage him to shoot that, Levi knows. He hasn't been shooting really great from the three. Pure Jim. Gregory Polian able to this time draw the foul on Armin Resk, um, who, who gets the foul there. Guys, who you, who you vouching? Who are you backing to win in this game? Let us know. And, um, yeah, let us know what drink you're having. Yeah, so let us know your juice in the comment section. And plus, who are you backing in this game? And what are your takes? That's it. As we go back to... The game, I believe we have Gregory Polian choosing free throws, and I did mention a bit earlier, those who he who fouls first will make it harder for his team to win, I do believe. He who fouls first fouls the hardest, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Converts the first one, 5-3. Thames Valley Cavaliers up by two. 7.39 on the clock in the first quarter. Front rim's the first one. I mean, if you guys hear me on the commentary, you're going to realise that hitting the front rim is a pet peeve of mine. Oh, this is something unusual. They let Silla bring up the ball and he converts. Silla's no stranger to handling the ball. If he will make that misconception, he plays... He's a mismatch for guards. He's a mismatch for bigs in that way. And I'm in... Oh, oh. rebound not actually collected by Freckleton. The bearded one. The James Harden in the house. As it's a Hemelstorm ball. I think Blaine's more like a Clay Thompson type of shooter. He's a pure shooter. I'm talking about straight the beard. But yeah, <laughs> perhaps a Clay Thompson is, is the way to go. Josh Thorne, TVC, left reliant on key players. Absolutely, I do believe so. Who do you see to be the top scorers for Hemel, Josh? Oh, that's a good hedge. Oh, wide. And a shot clock violation. For those of you who don't know what just happened, you have 24 seconds to get a shot up and your shot attempt must hit the ring. That one did not, so therefore the ball will be again in the hands of the Thames Valley Cavaliers. That was a great hedge um, by Ayman because he made it really hard for him to get that shot off first, made it a bit uncomfortable and then it was long. That's it. Akeem Silla shooting off the dribble, which... If you didn't have, uh, if, you, if you didn't know Wiser, you'd think he wouldn't normally do that, but he can do a bit of everything. Teo shooting in transition, gets it to go, nothing but net. Teo or your future number 15. This is the glue to their team, Teo. And when he hits those shots, it's going to be really hard for Thames Valley. I'm going to call him, I was going to call him the Swiss Army knife, but I'm going to call him the Nigerian Army knife. <laughs> um, he's able to do quite a bit. He can shoot, he can get on the ground, he can make the right play as Blaine gets found. Ooh, not able to hit it. I think that was a good test by Mike. Contest on me. Ooh, Brody in transition does what he does best. <laughs> I'll give you a fun, a fun fact, Justin. Brody <laughs> actually called me on Facebook. I, I don't know, man. He's from the Stone Age. Have you ever called someone on Facebook before, Justin? Justin, when they first introduced it, I might have tried it once or twice, but it's not a, my go-to methods of communicating with, to someone. <laughs> so I did what I thought was... The natural thing to do. And Birdie called me on Facebook. I just ignored it. I assumed it was a pocket dial. No, he called me again. So I, uh, <laughs> anyway, he goes, Tosin, why did you say that I don't pass? And I was like, this guy, man, he didn't listen through. He just listened to the proper propaganda mm. as Blaine gets shots and misses it. But um, what happened was he said, why did you say I don't pass? I said, actually, Birdie, it's a misconception that you don't pass. As Hakeem Silla says, get out of here. Rather than get over here like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Ball still in the Hemelstorm's hands. Now, that's the second time I've seen someone from Hemble go to the left side using their right hand, and they both had unfortunate misses at the basket. I think for them, they need to just pump fake, use that left hand. Bodie's dancing. There's Bodie going. Passes the ball. <laughs> Good block. I'm a rest showing his height right there, blocking the ball. Jamie Hayes in the comments. I got to back my old team in Hemel Storm. What's good? Justin and Tossin. Tossin and Justin. Um, I'm well, brother. Hope you're well as well. Yeah, I'm doing really well today. Like I said, I've got my cranberry juice. I'm feeling revitalized. And I'm good to go for this game. That's it. All right, subbing out, I think it's Boldy and Jack Brunel comes in. Now, I think they need to match up with some shooters here. Jack Brunel is a legendary shooter in the league. Can't say legendary, but he's a veteran, I should say. I'm going to say legendary. I mean, when the ball's in Jack's hands, 
I'm typically surprised when it's not, you, you know, the, bo the bottom of the net is not found. Good defense. I'm, I'm really impressed with how Jack come into this season with a better defensive mind. Yeah. Ladies and gents, just to let you know, the L Lynch Trophy is a place to play um, via sponsors, L Lynch. Uh, as you, you guys may have heard that Evan Walsh has showcased his talents here, dropped 33 and found his place in BBL team Surrey Sports. So there's a whole lot of things going on here. As Blaine gets a three up and gets it to go, he looks like he might be playing to play somewhere in the near future. 10-8 the score, 4.52 on the clock. Yeah. Okay. They're trying to find Greg a lot this half. Well, this court, I should say. I like Greg Prodi, though. He knows how to find... He knows how to find the mid-range. It seems like the mid-range is a, is a lost talent. You wouldn't tell by watching his game. As I believe... Lane gets the ball out of bounds. I don't know if it was a foul call before the before the shots. Yeah. He fouls on the Hemel Storm. Oh, Lewis Champion trying to thread the needle to Iman Rest. He's a big guy, so you can't pass it to him too low. Bernard mm -hmm. Hetro gets the steal off Jack yeah. Vanell. Jack was sleeping there, that's why he needs to wake up a bit. Heidi cuts, just wait for that Swiss sound to toss in. When he does hit one, I'm going to make one of those sounds. Is it, uh, oh, Blaine, I like this. He's talking my language. <laughs> Till that time comes, we're going to have to enjoy Blaine hitting the shots. He's had quite a few so far. Blaine Freckleton. I think he... Was that a foul on him? Or I missed that one, but it's two shots for the Hemelstorm regardless. Blaine Freckleton was leading all scorers with six points, two rebounds early in this game. For Hemel Storm, Teo and Greg both have three points. Teo's got three rebounds as well, including one assist. Mike Williams not able to convert on the first one. The Rutgers guard, well, the ex Rutgers guard wearing number zero today. He's a returner to the Hemel Storm, and it's good to see him uh, drawing fouls this early in the game because I know when it comes to his time, he's putting those shots up. Something quite interesting. Taylor Johnson did not start. Now he may be injured. I mean, let's talk about the elephant in the room. He finished top in scoring last year in NBL action. Likely that he's injured. I heard that he hasn't been practicing also. So it looks like he's wearing tracksuit bombs. So you're probably right, Taylor. Hey? Looks like. Well, I mean, it's pretty chilly in here with the lack of fans and not not that much body heat as we're social distancing. <laughs> Blaine's flopping. <laughs> That's what someone shouted there. If Blaine was a football player, you'd call him a diver indeed. It's like, um, I don't know. <laughs> I remember my time playing against Spanish players. They kind of make this sound eh, 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 as you try and, uh, <laughs> as you try and uh, take the ball off them. Nick Allen checking into the game, number six. It's the bobbing head. That's what got, that's what got the call for him. It's the Afro bobbing with the bobbing head. <laughs> Underground? Oh, two shots. With Ayman Resk at the back, it seems like after these shots, perhaps we can see Thames Valley Cavaliers going into a press, which means we're really going to try and hound the Hemel Storm to ensure that they make a quick decision or to run some time off the clock. And converts. Must be nice. He's got nine points already. Or is it eight? I think it's nine. Yep, yeah, nine. Misses the second. So the ball will stay in 10th Valley Cavaliers' hands. Bernard De Hetro not able to rebound as easily as he did last week when he played against, I believe, was it Oakland's? No, it wasn't Oakland's. It was against Redding. Redding. He had 16 rebounds and nine points. And, well, <laughs> it's not going to be that easy. Let's call it the quiet before the storm. Oh, See what I did there. Oh, now, Lewis was passing to Casper over there. I don't know if Casper knew that he was getting the ball, but... Kids, just a bit a fun fact for you, or maybe a, a veteran piece of advice. If you are left-handed and your guy's asking for the ball in the right hand, try and pass that ball with your right hand. I think that's where that where that trouble happened. Travel call called. 
ball will now be in the hands of the Thames Valley Cavaliers as the refs speak to one another to ensure it will indeed be a travel call. Yeah. I think Lewis and Bernard were just speaking about that miscommunication there. Now, for some of you wondering, this is the only game of today as the Reading Rockets and the Open Wolves will not face off due to health and safety, let's call it, uh, measures. So the game will not be taking place. Mac Williams out on the break. Slap the backboard. Two points between the two teams. Good pressure. Wow. Good pressure from Hemel. Well, I was going to see Bernard Hetro dribble up the ball a bit. That would be a bit unusual, but... Um, well, Sill is doing it, so I assume he can. Hey, it's not all for one and one for all. <laughs> but, um, oh, checked into the game. We have Charles Aqua Davis. Um, he's coming to the game. I think he missed out on playing action. He was injured. Seems like there's quite a lot of injuries on the in the Cavs camp. Jack Lewis checking in for Teo Oyofusi. Two shots at the line for Aqua Davis. Jack had a good game last week, didn't he? So. I believe he had 17 and 8, shooting 87% from the field. Impressive numbers, man. I mean, <laughs> in the NBA, the numbers went up a lot because of people shooting on familiar courts. I guess we have some of that same effect happening here in the L. Lynch Trophy. Converts on the second one. Five fouls this early in the game for the Hemelstorm, which are down by three in this game. That might become problematic because the ball bounces out of bounds of a Michael Williams shot. Let's go into the comments and see what everyone's saying. I think Nick Allen's given a different type of look for Blaine. Pressure in full court, seeing what he could do. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, definitely. Charge call. Someone has to tell Bernard this ain't a booty shaking competition. Can't stick out his ass. So you have, to be a bit, <laughs> you have to be a bit careful on that one. You have to be completely still when you feel setting a screen and uh, you can't move any part of your body. <laughs> Otherwise, the other team will have the ball. Justin, last week we had Dave Ryan, who was your sub last week. Yeah. As Levi Noel shoots and doesn't get it to go. Something quite interesting about Levi Noel. His dad's name is Leon Noel. Now... I can't remember the exact word that Dave Ryan used. I might have to check my thesaurus when I get home. But Leon Noel, Leon is Noel back, spelt backwards. Yeah, so it's quite interesting, isn't it? I would have definitely made that into a logo somehow. Yeah, <laughs> we should have, man. All these clubs are rebranding nowadays. It's a shame. Mm. In his case, it might be 20 years too late. I'm quite surprised that Hummel um, went under a lot of the screens here. I mean, they're gambling on 10th value to shoot. Now, they let Ayman Risk shoot, but he is a shooter despite his size and his height. Oh, no. Nope. I'm surprised that they didn't call a foul on that, but nah. Levi Noel was able to. I, I wouldn't give that foul either. As Hetro Le recovers the rebound. You wouldn't have given that foul? No, because Levi was looking for the foul. Rather than go up strong, I think he was looking and he turned a bit, and that's why the rest didn't call it. Yeah. Now, it might have looked like that was an and one call. Actually, I'm not quite sure of the call there, but the bucket does not go. Quite an interesting, quite an interesting call there. Levi Noel checking out for Wally Mamuni. Got the replay right here. It seems like I'm trying to make out what happened here. Perhaps uh, Mike Mike reached in. You can see right here. Well, no, I mean the ball's in Hemelstorm's hand, so it, it must have been something where Bernard might have been called for a over the back foul, perhaps. Who, who knows? But yeah. in any case. Timmy Ogunkoya, I believe I got his name wrong last week, but Good he's fine. in the game right now. Great find by Mike Williams there to Greg. One point between the two teams. It wouldn't surprise me if Blaine pulled it from there. So we're getting a message that the, the score is the wrong way around. Um, yeah, that is correct. So just to let you guys know, it is 14 actually to the 10th Valley Cavaliers and 13 to Hemel for the time being. Uh, we have some extreme high-tech software here which detects the, the scoreboard. So we have, I believe, Cavaliers are on 14 and Hemel Storm are on 13. I'm in risk to the line for two. 
Now, Justin, how would you guard someone like Ayman Resk? Because, you know, he's, he, he, pull, he shoots very high, he's, he's tall, at least six foot ten anyway. Um, make him go to his left and then try to pull up the shot. Make him go to his left? Yeah, well, he's left-handed, but make him go left, then sag off. Encourage him to take that off the dribble mid-range. I don't think he has that in his artillery. Uh, I, think, I think you have so much threat on the court in terms of who can shoot that it might be hard to make him dribble it. But who knows, maybe... Gets both free throws to go there. So Willie Mooney, 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 Mooney checks sang. into the game. Captain as well. So just to confirm now, the score is actually 16. 10 for the Cavaliers as displayed and 13 to the Hemel Storm. 53.7 seconds left in the first quarter of gameplay. Few to come for Mike Williams once again. Quite an interesting game. Both teams in team fouls, of course. Five teams, five personal fouls. Well, five team fouls results to every further foul resulting in free throws, which can really hurt down the stretch. Okay, looks like Josh Santos is about to check in. Now, he's another big body that can shoot. about six foot eight. Seems more athletic than um, I would have imagined. I saw him dunking the free throw lines. Looks like he's coming in for the shooter for Ironman Race. Number 30. Josh Santos has definitely put on some size. I think it's going to be hard in the block to get him off if he pulls it up right. So much height in this size uh, on the court. It looks like outside of Lewis Champion, the shortest player is like six foot four at least as Lewis Champion shoots it up, shoots wide. Ogun Koya recovers the rebound. Josh Santos is over there. He's about to shoot it. I think this zone is working for him. There we go. Nick Allen able to catch the ball. Oh. Ball in the hands of Teo Oyofusi who tries to go left. Oh. Nearly gets at one. But he will shoot two. 20 seconds left on the clock. Good patience by Teo. He paused for a sec. Realised the defender wasn't balanced. Drove straight past him. The defender had nothing but else to foul him. Good read and react by the Nigerian army knife. Um, now, with two shots to come, perhaps it's a good time to say that in the Oakland's venue of the L Lynch Trophy. Both of these teams are the only undefeated. Of course, we have Thames Valley and Reading that have both beat, sorry, Thames Valley and Hemel Storm that have both beat Reading and Oakland's. One team will be remain undefeated. Will remain undefeated in this game. Well, at the end of, in 30 minutes from now, perhaps. A oh, good still from Waleed. Waleed. A.K. Pharrell Williams. I do not know why Nick, Nick Allen. Nick Allen looks a bit scared there on the left. Oh, looks like Silla's going to dunk it. He can jump. He can fly. He can fly. Remember that song from Dumbo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he goes. He can fly. He can fly. He can I fly. believe I can fly. <laughs> right, that's four seconds on the clock. I'm not sure that that dunk actually counted. It doesn't look like it's been added to the score. Two points apart. Don't Two bow. seconds on the clock. Mike, Mike Williams doing what he does. It. Nick Allen being ambitious, trying to catch an alley-oop. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Well, to be honest, I think Nick Allen should have made the first layup rather than be scared and pass it off. End of the first quarter. We have 18 to 10 Valley Cavaliers, 16 to Hemel Storm. Just going to wait for the live stats to update to let you know who the top scorer is. But as it looks right now, it looks like Blaine Frickerton leads all scorers with nine points. And uh, Gregory Polian leads Hemel Storm with five. And Mike Williams also with five himself. It's good to see Lewis Champion leading his team for the rebounds. He's on four rebounds at this current moment in time. It's nice to see a point guard get on the boards. And I, I have my theories about guards leading rebounds. It seems like the ball just, sometimes the ball just bounces in your hands. I've seen some of these shots go wide as well. Maybe I sound like a hater, but... This is, what you guys, this is what you guys get involved in when you hear us commentating. <laughs> Speaking of which, make sure that you hit that subscribe button underneath. Make sure you're following Basketball England uh, on YouTube. Whilst you're at it, make sure that you are following The Baller's Voice on YouTube. That is The Baller's Voice. You will see uh, a basketball with a B on it. Hit that red button. And if you want to hear our podcast that we feature on, The Juice Pod, make sure that you follow The Baller's Voice on Spotify, Twitter, Instagram, and all of those things. Let us know in the comments when you, once you hit the follow subscribe button. There's the button. That's the one to hit. So, 
So, Josh, what do you think is going to separate these two teams? It seems like both teams are in team fouls. What do you think, man? I think Hemel made some smart adjustments to go into a zone. I think that's reducing the fouls that they get. Um, it'll be interesting to see when Blaine checks back in if they can stay in the zone. I think it, it, you you were more right than I was. You're saying 10th Valley came wow. out with a good start. I don't think you're going to be right at the end of this match. I've still got Helmut to win this game. So what about you? Guys, get to know, I am really wrong. It seems like these guys can't do too much with Hakeem Silla. He's been effective in this league and he's being effective once again. So, you know, as we go back into the second quarter, mm. let's see if he's going to give some more damage. The guy can play a lot of minutes and he can be very creative as well. seems like these guys haven't been able to stop playing Freckleton as well. It's, you know, and the more that the Helmut Storm foul, the harder it will be to dig out of this hole. That's it. That being said, the hole's only two points. Yep, Hamill starting in the zone. Just an insider tip. Tenth Valley play a whole lot of 1 2 2 zone, and they're, they're ready for Hamill playing the zone. I think it's a bit of a cop out, actually, uh, Hamill playing a zone this early in the game, but uh, I guess you have to preserve the fouls that you're on. Watch when Silla catches the ball high post, he's going to get something going. Just like I said, I'm no psychic, I'm just intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I think that was pure athleticism. He beat Greg to the spot. I, I know about the fake. I know about the game plan because it seems like, in my opinion, Hem will have to, you know, Greg Greg Polian and Mike Williams. They would have got more than five points apiece at this point normally. So the fact is, they have to worry about not fouling and scoring. I think what Hem will need to do is obviously locate that high post entry early because he just slashed right in and got to his spot. Oh. Still uh, missing the second one as Timmy Ogunkoya, the super athlete, as we remembered last week, was blocking everyone's shots, doesn't get the, the clean up bucket. Brody Adeluola setting up the play, finding Max Williams. Oh, straight back, quicker than I could even speak, back in the hands of Brody Adeluola as the foul is called on Hakeem Silla. 100% the foul. You can't lead with two hands on the player. Quite an interesting one. A bit of flopping there, but I think it was a good... I think Levi Noel may have a day job of being a salesman. He really did sell that foul there. <laughs> so, um, good job for him. I think a lot of people here went to drama school because they are trying to sell a lot of the contact here. That's good. Bodie finding Polian. Too strong. He's able to hit the shot. I don't think he's able to use strength like he did in the past weeks. No, but he sealed his position to get that ball, Tyson. That's what I mean about strong. They couldn't yeah, well, yeah. they couldn't get him out of that paint. Agreed. Okunkoya looking a bit confused. Good there. hands by Mike. Not able to find the ball where it needs to go. No, good hands by Mike. Lewis is gonna pull it. Pulling it from deep. When you shoot those shots, you need to get it in. Silla cleaning up. Lewis celebrating there because he knew he made a bad there you shot. Go. <laughs> Lewis, you know you're on camera, right? Shooting those air balls, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. Polling once again. Josh Santos. Oh, Greg's trying to step back. Oh. But what's quite interesting is that Hemel was still able to get these rebounds. Although they are the less athletic team, I would say, as Levi gets the mid-range to go. I'm in rest coming in because it looks like Bob Banks has had enough of these rebounds being caught by the, the little ones. Or the little lineup that the Hemel Storm are fielding right now. Well, and that's, that's the shot that you want Josh Santos to take because he seems quite solid inside. You don't want him to get any closer. Take it hard for you. Here comes Boldy. Boldy and Blaine are talking smack to each other now. I like this. So now the Hemel Storm have taken the lead. 21, 22 to 21. Hemel Storm are now up. Let's have another look at that. That, look at that air ball, good grief. <laughs> they say nothing but net, but <laughs> they don't mean the front of the net. <laughs> it's a good thing that Hakim Silla's on the floor, man. A rebounder can, has a way of making guys look good. It seems that both teams have reduced their rotation. Actually, Hemel rotated a bit more than Thames Valley today. Well, Amirez has come back into the game. Josh Chantel's out again. Um, I'm not sure who in the camp of the Thames Valley Cavaliers are injured and who are not. We know Tom Martin has not yet checked in, Taylor Johnson has not, and Zaid Amini, Mo Adan, aside of that, everyone else has checked in and still 7.53 to play in the second quarter. But with, with Hemel, they have rotated everyone in, at least. 
Lerner, Lerner have a touch early. Actually, Ewan James has not been in. As we say that, Timmy Ogunkoya comes out and Bernard Hehetro comes in. Guys, let us know what juice you're drinking. Healthy thinking, healthy drinking. <laughs> Tells you you a poet? I didn't know. Oh, I'm a poet and you don't even know it. <laughs> I can rhyme and it's not a crime. All right, you can stop now. We're running out of time. Five seconds on the clock. That's another ramp. <laughs> yeah, good fake. Oh, hard off the back rim by Levi. No, ball recovered by Bodia de Luola. And they'll have a shot, a chance to shoot it again. Gregory Too Pollian strong. Punishing. Oh, yeah, Gregory Pollian punishing. Blaine Frockerton, but I'm in risk. Almost too big in this instance. Slaps the ball as it's above the rim. That means the basket immediately counts. 24 to Hemelstorm. 21, Thames Valley Cavaliers. Yeah, let him shoot that. Shooting high post. Let him shoot that. I would 100% let him shoot that. He was able to hit some of them last week, but uh, <laughs> not able to get it to go. Seems like it's working in Hemel's favour. They're up by three now. And both teams have fouled a whole lot less. Mike Williams gets another one to go. Now that's two backdoor cuts that Thames Valley haven't notified. They need to kind of make them do a better job on defence, not letting the guy go back door them. Sometimes when you're so hungry on defence, it's like you forget that they can walk right past you. I'm in rest going back door, getting one of his own. The big man. Good find by Lewis Champion. Lefty to lefty. Brody shooting the ball. Not able to hit it. Hehetro to Champion. Champion finding Resk. You know he's going to... Oh, surprise me by not shooting that one. But <laughs> Hakeem Silla is a hard day in the office for Teo Yafusi. Right. Yeah, I think Teo has to kind of put him in an uncomfortable position and force him to shoot. I haven't seen Silla take any jump shots yet. No, he's taking a shot off the dribble. I mean, but the thing is, it's about not letting him catch it so easily. Sometimes you have to put your body between the man and the ball. Mm -hmm. And in that case, he was not able to do that. So he got ground in the paint like he was beef. Timeouts, 26 to Hemelstorm, I believe. 25 to Tens Valley Cavaliers. Yeah, that is true. There's Justin sporting his... What's that you got there? That isn't just cranberry. That's cranberry and blackcurrant. No, just cranberry. Oh, no added <laughs> sugar. Man, you're you really living healthy, man. I'm going to just enjoy my old natural once again. Could wonder what they're talking about in the Hemelstorm camp. Probably thinking about, you know, stop all these backdoor cuts. Probably stop these guys getting so many inside buckets. That's probably something I would say. And you almost let Thames Valley shoot a little bit now. Try them out. Hakim Silla now leads, has joined Freckleton and Polian in scoring, all with nine points apiece. Lewis Champion still leading with four rebounds. Silla has joined in in that company. Teo Oyofusi also with four rebounds. Lewis Champion leading with assists. Probably that backdoor to Armin Resk is what got him in that situation. Now, what did you think Thames Valley said in that timeout? Man, I think they're going to say keep finding the guy inside because it took some discipline from Armin Resk to not actually shoot that shot, but to feed um, the number one man, the man wearing number one who I heard on Twitter was actually disrespectful to Martel. It seems like the minute Martel left the team, <laughs> Hakim Silla was quick to put on that number. Yeah, but and Silla gave him that look like, look, listen, I, I'm, I'm captain now. Exactly. He did, he did some of that. That Captain Phillips. Oh, oh I thought he was going to shoot that there. Almost made me get my hand up to try to block that shot. Mike Williams shooting it, not able to go. Oh, Silla almost getting it. Foul drawn. That's three on someone now. That's, I believe, three on... Is it on Teo or Oyofusi? Let's see who they call it on the table. Not so sure who it is, but... Let's see. 20... 21, I'm hearing. Not sure exactly. 21. One. So that is three fouls on Greg Polian. He needs to watch out because he's been a top scorer for the team. Maybe that's in the game plan of Tens Valley Cavaliers. I think it was because as soon as he got that foul, Silla was shouting, he's on three. So he knew he had to come out. The problem is, is that it's hard to be strong and fast. And Silla is both. Now, Greg Polian is strong. I'm not, so sure, I'm not so sure he can do a bit of both. Once again, Hemel are in the zone. And they're used to playing against the zone. Finding the high post with ease. And Silla gets the rebound. Puts it up. Gets it again. Three offensive oh, rebounds now. Set. Puts it in. 
poor defensive rebound from Hemel. Hakim Silla is a beast in the paint. You cannot let him get three offensive rebounds in a row. Now, normally commentators don't root for teams, but as I, me and Justin are so competitive, I'm rooting for the Thames Valley Cavaliers. And I Justin's want Hemel to. The Hemel Storm. Good take, Shaq. Shaq is able to turn the corner and get it going. 28-27 now to score. Hemel still in front once again. Taking their patience, finding the high post. Every time they find the high post, it seems like, apart from that time, Hemel still able to, Shaq has to convert, steal yeah. the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. that is a foul. Uh, this is advice for all you kids out there. Never jump and pass. That's what happens. Jumping and passing can be dangerous if someone is still in their space and you hit them. That is an offensive foul. And of course, just to give you an update of what the score is, 28 to... Oh, that's, that's the that's, last cleanup by uh, Hakeem Silla, which made the score 28-27, I believe. Back door found. I'm a rest able to cut back door. And a whole lot of back doors going here. It seems like if Hemel aren't able to get the ball to the high post, which by what I mean by high post is where you see guys shooting the free throw, that is the, the Achilles heel to a zone defense. If you get the ball there, that's going to end up in issues for the guy for the defensive side i can see drew spinks getting heated over there he's looking a bit red 29 in favor of the 10th valley cavaliers now it seems like they're going to have to force hemel sometime to get out of that zone as they keep rotating on on the plays on uh, the players coming into the bench uh players coming into the game rather i'm in risk checking out charles aqua davis back into the game it looks like I mean, Resk was a big helper, so I'm surprised he's come out so early in the game whilst they're still in the zone. <laughs> Charles Aqua Davis shooting straight up the bench, unable to hit it, hitting the front rim only. I'm laughing because I knew he was going to do that before he even shot it. Sometimes you have to separate your ego from, um, from what the team are trying to achieve here. It seems like that shot was... Um, you know, I had a coach, we had a coach that once would have called that shot ill-advised. Remember, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting straight away. It'll be a baseline ball, Hemel Storm. Hakim Silla now with 13 points, quickly added four to his tally. Six rebounds, now he leads. Mike is liking them um, down screen. Come off for that shot. Able to hit the shot. I think that's his third of the game. Yeah. What's quite interesting here is that Hemel Storm don't seem to have, well, they do have Lewis Champion, but other and Brain Prophetin, but... They are opting for Charles Aqua Davis to bring up the ball, which is unusual in my opinion. Bernard oh, head charge, getting a charge, throwing his body. For young players, you need to learn how to read and react. You can't just throw your body. Once again, you can just see he's planting his shoulder. He dips deep his shoulder definitely deep into his chest. He wanted to score that too bad, but I think that's the biggest issue really. Mo Adan into the game. Now what Bernard Hedger, he's come straight out the game and in my opinion, rightly so. I think what he has to do is read how he's being defended and perhaps shoot that over his right shoulder. That's what I would have done. Uh, in the comment section, I saw a podcast saying referee is terrible. I wouldn't say referee is terrible right now. I'm just thinking they're trying to make sure the game is leveled with the calls that they're making. Justin, you need to be easy, but the ref right next to us, man. You could have... <laughs> I know, he's going to ref one of my games, right? You, you could have given it a second. I would never speak bad about the refs. <coughs> oh, I get a look now. <laughs> <laughs> The rest are my friends. I want them calls. Looks like Timmy Ogunkoya is about to check back in for the Thames Valley Cavaliers. Athletic 19-year-old. Ooh, shake and bake for the, for the Mike Williams show. Uh, I'm liking Mikey. Gets it to go. Three points separating the two teams now. The teams are matched on team fouls. Three, three each also. Two more. And every extra foul will end up with a free throw for the other... For the, uh, Good hands, tail. Team. Good still from tail. Oh, Fusi. Oh, no. No look. Can he finish? Oh, foul drawn by, I believe, <laughs> I believe that's by Lewis Champion. He's walking around. He knows what he's done. Now, rebound. I've just commented and said Mike, Mike Williams is stepping up from both ends with Jack Brunel. I definitely have to agree with you. I want to be like Mike. <laughs> Dominic Mark commentators are really good thank you brother Dominic Mark again good to see proper analysis thank you thank you I mean we try and do what we can we do analysis of on court and off court action 
if you want to know more about it, make sure you go to Spotify and type in The Boiler's Voice. We have a podcast called The Juice. You hear a whole lot more of us as Waleed hits the front rim on the first of the two free throws. Gets a second to go, 50-50. Now, Waleed came over to me and said, oh, Tossin, you're killing me, man. He said, I'm like Morgan Freeman. Now, I didn't mean that he's always old. I mean, <laughs> you know what? Morgan Freeman always has been the same age. So, well, look the same age. So, therefore, probably in that instance, I didn't mean that. But he's more like a Pharrell Williams. He is always looking the same age, looking young. As Hakim Silla gets it to go, he now has 15 points. That guy is ready to go. Levi no needs to find his basket out here today. Well, he's trying to put it in. Man. <laughs> I remember in Pokemon where there was a particular move called Fury Swipes. It looks like uh, Lewis Champions just swiping at people now, man. He's, what's going on there, brother? Is that how they did you at Br Bristol Flyers? Teach you to swipe? <laughs> swipe and no swipe. <laughs> Goodness, man. Don't you know there's contactless now? You can't swipe cards anymore. Yeah, they had to take him out on that instance, man. He's, any more swipes, man, he could affect how long he could play in the second half. How many fouls is that on Lewis? Not sure, but that's back-to-back -back for him. I mean, <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> now, timeout called. He is leading, um, him and Bodie are both leading in assists with four apiece. So that's a, a bright side to what he's been, what's been going on. Oh. BRN Saint. I'm not sure if it's BRN, if that's how you pronounce it. We'll lead. <laughs> we'll lead, indeed. <laughs> Teo is actually leading both teams with steals today with two. Just looking at the three refs that are now in the in the building, you know, it, previously we had two refs. Now you have three that are able to see everything. So take that ISO podcast. I guess they are they all have eyes. They have eyes everywhere. They even have um, a replay cameras you've seen earlier. Justin, what do you think they're talking about right now with these refs? Man, I think they're talking about. Um, what they're going to get from McDonald's on the drive through <laughs> I personally would get the hot apple pie and a little a little toffee sundae if they still have it, you know what I'm trying to say. You know, trying to keep, eat light, I'd rather get the chicken selects. But I think they're just making sure some of these calls are what they are because I think they're noticing that a lot of players are flopping. Yeah. So they might let them play in the second half. That's going to be very interesting. It's going to get very physical. For the 10th Valley Cavaliers, it's good to see Mo Adan checking into the game. Young boy, I believe... Um, couldn't tell you how old he is. Looks quite fresh in the face. I know, baby face. But I know he has come through the junior program of Tennis Valley Cavaliers, which hasn't been around for that many years, so he can't be that old. Um, yeah, good to see. He's he can get going. I've seen him do quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Steve Hall, 1975. Silla is a beast. We need to find. Well, I'm in favour of the Cavs, so you know I'm happy with what he's been doing thus far. As Levi Noel gets the first free throw to go, playing Frockerton over with the coach, talking. What do you think they're talking about over there? Probably needs to get more shots. Yeah, Blaine's like, I haven't shot it for a while. I'm going to pull the next one. Quite interesting, man. He keeps saying that's not the only thing he does, but uh, <laughs> if he shoots the next one, <laughs> I guess we'll know what he was really talking about over there. All in the hands of Blaine Freckleton. With eight, eight seconds. seconds. Indeed. Still is able oh. to turn. Shooting off the dribble. There you go, Joss. Getting it into the hole. He's doing exactly what you said Hemel should score. Yeah, Hemel but score. he didn't make it. He did not make and it. And he got his rebound, so he's cooking. So that's their fault. Hemel should have boxed him out after the shot went up because I knew he cannot shoot off the dribble. It's not that easy. It is easy when you're me. Well, that's why we're on the side, my brother. <laughs> that's why we're on the side. There's the replay right here, and there's my favourite player right now, Hakeem Silla, shooting it off, chasing up, looking a bit like what I do. Um, when, I, when I'm wearing basketball shoes, that is. Tipping is pulling up his own shot. Good. Good draw. Levi No is the veteran. Draws, I, I'm draw. pretty sure Levi No is the actor's name. <laughs> Must be. Now, he, and now is draws a foul on Timmy Ogunkoya, who probably doesn't know about these vet moves. Three free throws to come, I do believe. One minute, 53 left in the half. Daniel Nuttall, mozzarella sticks all day. Oh, brother, I might try that out, man. What dip are you having with that? Barbecue? Sweet chilli. Heidi Cutts, John Letizia, legend referee. Absolutely, sir. Gets it to go. Four point, 
four points separating the two teams now. And he made a third. Gets it to go. Makes all three. Five points between the two teams. Might be a bit of um, trouble in paradise for the 10th Valley Cavaliers right now as they're five points down and they have five team fouls already. One minute 49 left to play. <laughs> I told you Blaine was going to pull it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's talking about. Ogun Koya, I'm telling you, man, these athletes over here, man. Wow. Oh, gets it. To... Yeah, we lead. You have to let him land. Charles Aqua Davis shooting again. I have to let him land. He's got that young boy confidence shooting anyway, that Carmelo Anthony confidence. We'll lead Mamuni getting a foul. I wonder how many fouls he's got now. We'll soon see what the table say. It seems like it's his first. Quick, quick shout out to you and James. I'm liking this Colby um, Pro Troll Fives. Uh, I don't know anything about basketball shoes, bro. Shame on you. Basketball shoes. You know what I mean? Fit for purpose. That's, that's, that's fine by me. Charles Aqua Davis, number 10. It's the first. He's a returner. Very athletic when he, when he gets in the transition. Able to shoot it as well. Not able to hit a three just yet, but uh, he can indeed. Two for two from the free throw lane right now. Oh, wow. That looked like a two to me. I'm surprised it was a three. Shout out Tony Shorey. Good to hear. Tossing and Justin, Leopards Legends. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You're a, t you're a Leopards Legend in yourself. Well, Tony, uh, if we're such legends, I need that retro jersey with my name at the back. <laughs> oh. Ooh, not able to hit that one. Daniel Nuttall, Feet Chili, loving the commentary, man. I like to say man in the American way, man. But you British, boy. Wow. <laughs> Mike Williams looks like he's swimming over there as he uh, draws the foul, but... Uh, would that be a free throw? Was that out of bounds? Or no, it's definitely the free there? throws. They're in team fouls. Free throws indeed. Yeah, foul called. Charles has done... Joshua Thorne. Charles has done a year pro in Spain. Very good up and coming player indeed. I think he's about 23. Charles Aqua Davis is actually checking out the game right now for Lewis Champion. Hopefully he can have... Hopefully Lewis Champion has some pockets in his shorts so he can put his hands in there and stop fouling. <laughs> Okay, let's see what, what happens right here. Nothing but net. Actually, that's the sound I reserve for um, Jack Bunnell, isn't it? So apologies, guys, for listening into that. Makes both. Mike Williams. 40. Hemelstorm. 36, 10th Valley Cavaliers. Now, Hemel are definitely not coming out of this zone. I think they had quite a lot of success, and it seems they're not going to come out of this. As long as they could stop that high post entry, I think they'll be right. As soon as they find someone high post, it's a different game. And it seems like 10th Valley Cavaliers are going away from going to the high post, or well, he's doing a good job on defense. Uh, Blaine couldn't get it to go. Blaine's legs ran out of steam there. <laughs> I think he, he took too many long steps, that's why. <laughs> that's it. Marto McLemore, legend over here. Hey, man, Marto, they disrespect you, bro. Hetro um, Hakeem Silla's out here bringing up the ball wearing your number. Oh. As Mo Adam tries to throw an alley-oop to Timmy Ogunkoya, nothing happens there. That's very ambitious, but I think he should have laid it up. Just a, a replay of what happened there. A very ambitious junior, you know, junior-junior combo medley, whatever you want to call it, duo. Um, my experience of throwing alley-oops, you have to throw it nice and high but you can't be pinging it i think you put too much speed on it i, I got a, a good old saying if you're not in the nba don't throw an alley if you're losing <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that <laughs> okay we lead the vet there's mike, mike really is. Foul. 100 percent how many fouls is that on silla he must be on free as well silla's laughing because he knows that he uh he's only oh, got two fouls but he's Throwing his hand out. He can play 40 minutes, man. I expect to play 40 minutes. To be honest with you, I think Thames Valley Cavaliers should play a little zone. I'm not too sure if they were, actually, but now that I think about it, they're I not hitting that many shots. I think it's against their ethos, but we might see a change in the second half. I know. They play a lot of 1-2-2. Two, two. They got that in the bag. Dot Dom Baron. Dot Dom Baron. <laughs> Tell me how to pronounce your surname, man. <laughs> Commentators need fruit cup with ice cream. Oh, well, most probably, most definitely. But um, if you were listening a bit earlier, I actually prefer apple pie. I prefer the, the less healthy variation of what Apple, what uh, McDonald's have in store as far as <laughs> treats go. Swish. Agent Zero. I think, I think that might be Nat Mike's new name, you know, Agent Zero. Yeah, he is a little bit Gilbert arena isn't he? 
taking all those shots and um, able to hit Josh Thorne. But if he makes a dunk, it turns him in momentum. But you know what? That's called gambling. <laughs> <laughs> That's called gambling. And, you know. And people lose their houses for that. <laughs> exactly. And, and you know what? A, a little fun fact about me when it comes to writing. I, I do a bit of writing on the side. Josh Thorne. The worst word in the English dictionary for me is if. If makes anything possible. The fact is, he didn't even get his hands on that. That's the, that's all there's going to be. The life stats is going to show turnover. You know, you guys are going to forget to look at this time in the game. And I think that's that. But yeah, absolutely. If he was to get it, it would be a, a good move. Gets it to go. All Seven three. points. Um, let's see. Tens Valley hopefully take some time off the clock and get a good shot here. Now, uh, Hemel haven't seemed to come out of the zone. Justin, what is the... Oh, before, before I say that, Silla gets the ball high post, so I expect something to happen now. Uh. <laughs> and it does, just like I, as if I could see the future. Blaine Ferguson gets the buzzer beater shot. Ladies and gents, we have four points between the two teams. Thames Valley Cavaliers, four points behind the Hemel Storm, 43-39 the score. That's what you think about the game so far. No, it was it's good that to see that Hemel have turned the tide over and taken the lead. I think that zone really helped them. Now I know you were gonna ask me about their zone. I think they're pressuring up high to obviously spread them out. So they're pressuring up high to spread them out. And then obviously they're denying that high post. So I think they notified that Silla was killing them or anyone that was sent to the high post was causing them problems. So they denied that and forcing the, the lob. That's why we saw quite a lot of backdoor cuts and then obviously they made adjustments to that. What do you think about Thames Valley's defence? I'm not going to talk too much about Thames Valley's defence. They need to stop fouling. That's the only thing I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when they do have the ball, stop trying to throw alley-oops. But what I will say as well is that you see that area where people shoot the free throws from? If Silla gets the ball in that area in the second half, I do believe that the Helmstorm could be toast. I think they just need to let him shoot that. Guys, let Not us know uncontested, but they need to let him shoot that. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, make sure you're listening. Well, you're now watching the L Lynch, and that's the hashtag L Lynch Trophy. Uh, venue 2, Oakland's College. Hemel Storm, 43. Thames Valley, 39. Smack that red button whilst you're at it. Subscribe. Basketball England. That's the button right there. And you know what? If you press that bell and give it a like you'll get those push notifications to your phone letting you know when games are live so you don't have to fum fumble around looking for the link. And just how annoying is it to fumble around looking for links? Oh, it took me a while to find the link for this game, but I finally found it. But if you hit that notification button, you'll definitely be updated all the time. Absolutely. It, it, there was the old song, Ring my bell. Ring my <laughs> bell. But speaking of which, tomorrow we have two games. Um, I do believe we have the... One of the biggest games we have first the Barking Abbey London Lions versus Essex, Reb Essex Rebels. Um, and then the second game of the day is Team Solent Kestrels versus Werven Thunder. Now, that's a game I'm really looking forward to. I already picked Werven Thunder to be competing for the title this year. Solent, obviously, two years consecutive winners. I'd like to see how those two teams match up on a Sunday. So, just as we've mentioned about. I guess these two teams, Thames Valley and Hemel Storm, it's quite similar with the Worthing Thunder and Solent Kestrels. Neither team have lost. Highly anticipated match in terms of, you know, they got Solent who didn't lose a single game in league action or didn't lose many games at all yeah. in the past two years for that matter. You also have Worthing Thunder that are, have some headline signings, you know, ranging from Zaire Taylor, Howard Crawford, of course, Golden Boy Cameron Hildreth. And, you know, so much more. It's going to be a good game to watch. So make sure you're tuned in there. Hit that bell. Ring my bell.
Half about to commence. Right now it's 43, 39 in favour of the Hemel Storm. Just what do you think so far, man? What do you think about your Hemel Storm? Um, I'm liking how Mike Williams is playing, really. He's top scoring right now with 16 and 7 for the Hemel Storm. I think he's going to have a better second half. He seems like he's getting into rhythm. The zone is actually working for Hemel. I want to see them make uh, just a few adjustments just so they can't get open freeze and some of those backdoor cuts. But it's a very good game. What do you think, T? And he's looking to camp for this one. Look out for Hakeem Silla. He has 17 and 7 already, ladies and gents. And he's on course to get 34 and 14. Now, he might not get 34, he might not get 14, but I guarantee he's going to make it a hard day in the office for all those wearing orange today. And um, <laughs> on that note, guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button real good. Um, yeah, the red button, that is. You guys know what it is. I, I don't need to tell you more about that. And also, follow the L Lynch trophy on Twitter, Facebook, and obviously YouTube. That's right. Now, starting five has varied a little bit for what well, starters of the second half has varied a bit for the 10th Valley Cavaliers. We now have Charles Aqua Davis into the game. Uh, he replaces, I believe, can I remember who he replaces? He replaces Bernard Hehetro. Otherwise, the same starting five has been kept with Lewis Champion, Blaine Freckleton, Iman Resk, and Bernard Hehetro, um, Hakim Silla, rather. Uh, for the Helmut Storm, Greg Popolian, Popolian's back in. I think he needs to watch his foul count. He's on three right now, and he's a very big offensive weapon for Hemel. He's joined by Teo Oyofusi, Mike Williams, Spodia de Luola, and Levi No. Second half underway. And Polian, just like I said, he's a big offensive weapon for Hemel Storm. Polian hits the three. They're now up by seven. He's definitely extending his range from last season. Last season, he was much more of a mid-range. Now he's shooting the three. Charles Aqua Davis gives him a taste of his own medicine, a triple. He now hits it. Good to see the man getting it. He's now one for three from beyond the arc. Shaking his head like he knew he was going to make that before he shot it. Absolutely. You keep sleeping on me. That's what he said with that shot. I don't know. If you miss two in a row, I might let you shoot the third one. But <laughs> at least for him now, they have to respect his shot. And it looks like Hemel Storm have come out of the zone. And quite interestingly, it looks like... Thames Valley have gone into the zone and it look, looks like looks like Hakeem Silla has been hit in the shoulder not sure what's going on but uh, let's see if he can need hope he's okay need the muscle need the pain out of the muscle sometimes that's what he needs he needs a little you know we don't all have the, the <laughs> we have to have some improv physio going on here so perhaps he has to just massage it out and keep going that is the three point of Greg Polian now, it's quite crazy, man. I mean, he he didn't shoot that many threes last year. And yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, he's really extended his range. He's becoming more of a threat. I think, I guess he wants to play a bit more of the three than the four that he was playing last season. And it's good. It's good to see a player develop in the same league. Absolutely. It, look, it just it means like, you know, he was obviously shooting in the gym. He must have had access to a court in the off-season. <laughs> so, you know, great for him. Yeah, that's some people have been fortunate to have access to the gym Justin have you had any access to the gym um, the weight gym as you can see I've put on a bit of muscle I can't tell man you've got that yellow fleece on I can't really see that's 101 how to hide size put on <laughs> <laughs> you have to hide the gains until it's the right time to show so it's time to show look you see Justin in the fleece I don't know man I'm not sure that might be might be a little flabby I'm not too sure now <laughs> 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 ain't nothing but a chicken wang mm -hmm. <laughs> Me, myself, I haven't had that much access to a court. Um, well, actually, I, I would say since lockdown, lockdown stopped, I've had a, a little bit more success. But, um, yeah, those, those four months without touching a ball hurt me. Same here. But I, I should be ready to go anytime soon. <laughs> A 
this. Yeah. I think this is a hammer ball. Oh. Ooh. I am in rest with the steal. One of the Thames Valley Cavalier teammates able to poke it out. There comes the motion. Seems like they're in a... Well, they're still in a man-to-man. I'm arrested. A back door. Oh, it looks like they're finding the back door a lot. Out of bounds. Not able to. Now, I think Taylor got that over me. You have to give a guy a little little nudge so he falls out of bounds when he's off balance. If you just give him a little nudge, not pushing, just put your body there stiff. Cecilia needs to find some baby powder, man. And ball just <laughs> slipping out his hands. Looks like Bodie oh, is... Good high hedge. Oh, they're That's still the mismatch that you need. Napoleon. Oh, good block by Amin Resk. Who would have imagined? I, I don't think Mike should have pumped that. That's why he, he got blocked there. <laughs> well, I mean, there is like nine inches between the two players. He was quite ambitious to think that Amin Resk was going to let him score that bucket, go home and drink tea. If that was me, I would have floated over him. Oh, early foul. Teo Fusi. I'm telling you, man. Teo was talking to me about Silla. He's like, he's not sure what the big... What all the hoo has about. I think he's beginning to learn. <laughs> Once he's under the basket, man, it's a different game. It's a different animal. I think Silly looks our way like, you know what I could do, guys. He's quite nonchalant with it, man. He doesn't say too much. He no, does. I think he's been mouthing off a bit. You just can't hear it. Maybe not. I am arrested in a quick shot. Not able to get it. Oh, but that looked like Lewis wanted to shoot that. <laughs> I thought they would have found Silly in that situation. Good which they're still man. looking, but they're not able to get it. Five seconds on the clock. Lewis Champion able to put it back with his left hand and score it. I tell you why, Boldy thought, oh, he's a left hander, I'm going to send him right. One thing about left handed players, once you send them right, they're going to always come back to the left, and just like Lewis did, got the layup. Now, Justin's talking from some experience. He's the lefty on the commentary table today. Um, I'm right handed, so I don't know anything about that. Foul drawn once again. Seems like <laughs> Lewis Champion, he's trying to not play that many minutes today. No, <laughs> that's definitely Lewis's third now. I got it wrong before. Right At now. least his third. At least, I mean, you know what? If it was down to me, uh, two, two. I'm, I'm very surprised. Ah, oh, man, you know what? You got the lucky, got called <laughs> on someone else. <laughs> Favor. Favor. That's what I'm going to call it. Now, what are these lot talking about over here from Hemel? I think it's them. Those easy layups they're giving up. Quite a lot of smiles on the against the Thames Valley Cavaliers. Seems like these guys know each other quite a bit. Looks like Amin Rest is giving the flopping uh, action with his hands. So, you know, perhaps Lewis Champion is a Spanish basketball player or something of that nature. But guys, let us know what you think. Was that a... Was that a flop? Or was that a foul? What is what's going on over here? What do you here? reckon? Gets both the free throws to go. So the score is now 48-44. It looks like um, Lewis Charles, I, we can see the scoreboard, can you not? Yeah. Shows well on our side. Lewis Champion shooting it. Oh, he tried flopping to flop. once again. <laughs> I'm arrested showing his size, getting that rebound. Charles Akradeva shooting again. He's like, respect it, but he's now one for five, so he needs to start considering other means of scoring as Bodie is on the run. Oh. oh, he passes it up to prove me wrong. I think he was looking for Mike Williams in the corner, but Mike wanted it on the wing earlier. Now, that bucket's going to count, unfortunately, because it seems, well, not unfortunately, but in favour of the Helmut Storm, it seems like one of the Thames Valley Cavaliers touched the backboard, the Perspex glass behind, which is not allowed. If you do it, it results in two points. So their motion always results in a screen on the ball handler. That's just one analyst I see. Too many middle drives that Helmut are giving up. They might need to go back oh, to the yeah. zone. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I'm in rest, getting a rebound, not able to put it in. But he's doing a great job in putting some energy for the Thames Valley Cavaliers. You know something I actually like, Justin? You just mentioned about going middle. Now, Blaine Freckleton is quite good at reading the pick and roll. And he did say he's not only a shooter. That is something else I can give him credit for. Quite good at reading the pick and roll. A lost skill. Or so had to shoot the first one. If I know, pulling That's it not up. the person you want to shoot that three. Tell you, you have to shoot that. Now... Guys, I've uninstalled the button for Bernard Hehetra getting all the rebounds last week and I've reattributed re it to Ayman Resk who gets nearly another rebound indeed. Uh, and that's a foul. Oh, jump ball. Jump ball called. Quite a quick call by the ref actually. I mean, I would have let it play it out a little bit, but um, I think Boldy really wanted that one. would have known. Going on the coach just to see exactly what he should think, you know. No, he's questioning the call. Drew Spinks letting his nose slip out of his mask. <laughs> That's how, uh, <laughs> how frustrated he is with the call. But 
nonetheless, the ball will remain in the hands of the Cavs. Uh, they're giving Greg Polian uh, just Reva. Give you, just give you guys an update. The score is 50-44. Um, perhaps you guys are looking to the FIBA live stats, which may be trading a bit, but... Oh, actually, I've had a look at that as well. It is 50-44 there also. So that is the score right now. I, I, I'm trying to dunk on someone. <laughs> After the whistle, he's... I like to see that in live game action. I mean, he's in high spirits. He can, he can get up when he's ready. Guys, what do you think about Amin Resk's um, leg leg attire? The one the one stocking and not the other one. I mean, I'm old school. I don't wear any of those kind of things. Looks like he's sharing with uh, Levi Noel, I would say. He's got the right one. Well, they both got the right one each. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling it. And that's Good. Blaine Freckleton saying, let's go. Let's go, Blaine. That was a deep three. And the score, 47 to the Tenfeli Cavaliers, 50 to the Hemel Storm. Oh, a bit of a moving screen there by Tail. Go on, Shaq, go dunk that. Mm. Shaq gets it to go. I, I can't remember the last time Shaq has um, missed two shots in a game. He's, he's very efficient, I'll say that for sure. I think he knows that he ain't going to get many shots. So when he does get the shot, he has to make it. Now, what was quite interesting there about Blaine, that, oh, as they, as they issue a warning to the Hemel Storm bench, it looks like Blaine actually just drew, just uh, flops today. I don't know how he ended up on the ground, but the three refs must have a better eye than I. One of those six eyes are better than mine because they were able to see the foul. Tony Shorey, I hate flopping with a passion. No warnings, just give automatic tea. I do believe so too, sir. Someone who wants to compete, it takes away from the game when someone's just, um, you know, taking the football approach to it, I would give. Or diving, as they call it. I mean, Red shooting the three. Doesn't even touch the rim. That's a, now, that could be a questionable call. I think they're both fighting for that. I don't think you could call a foul on that. Well, I don't think you should. He did call it, of course, but... You can't put your hands on someone when they're shooting. I'm not sure who that was called on. I'm not sure if that it's was called on Teo Fusi. Yeah, man. Hey, look. Don't play around with Hakeem Silla, man. He, his presence makes you do crazy things like foul. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit of a wild. Oh, technical. He blocked. And he did warn him. Yeah. He did warn Blaine. No, no, that might not be a technical. It is a technical. On, on Blaine Frackerton. No, yeah. no, it's not. It's not. It's on number seven, Blaine Frackerton. Oh, yes. That is a foul indeed, a technical foul on Blaine Freckleton. Seems like flopping is <laughs> BRN state uh, uh, soft take. Tony Shorey, I think the ref heard you from all the way in Essex. Lewis Champion is saying, do they get a warning now? I guess, should you get a warning? I mean, yeah, I don't even believe they should get a warning. Flopping is flopping after all. Um, I think that was less of a flop than something he's done previously, so... I'll be a bit mad if I was Blaine Freckerton myself. That being said, I'm not. I kind of understand Blaine's argument there. Because sometimes when you shoot free and a player comes so close that you fall because you're, you, you don't feel safe and that's the best way so you don't roll your ankle, it's no, frustrating. Uh, no, no, no. You can't just fall to not roll your ankle, man. That's, that, that is flopping. That by definition is flopping. <laughs> but, so, but the person's in your cylinder, so... Yeah, but, but that's... Being in your cylinder has nothing to do with it. Rolling your ankle, that's nothing to do with the game. But uh, Tony, oh. Tony Shorey, right on cue for Blaine, absolutely. Oh, here we go. Oh. I'm not quite sure why um, Charles Aqua Davis tried to make an alley-oop out of that when they're down. Again, if you're down, don't you attempt an alley-oop. He got a bit too excited. That's some young boy mentality. I mean, is on psychotic sometimes because like, he's there frustrated asking for, throw it up, man. But why? I would have gave it nice fundamental right hand with the right knee coming up off the left foot off the glass but what I would have done next time if I was Hakim Silla I would just wouldn't pass the ball to him I will just try to avoid getting an offensive foul <laughs> and that would be that oh. good hustle Boldy <laughs> recovered the ball yeah Boldy hustling and shooting uh. it oh he's, he's living with that mid-range and he claps in charge of the space yeah, Bode Bode. 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 I like Bode. it Boldy I like it Boldy that's what I'm talking about Ball found into the paint. Yeah, they're going to their strongest weapon. Whoa, the strongest weapon throws it away. Throws it downtown. I think Silla just needed a bit more patient there. Timeout. Called by the Thames Valley Cavaliers. Now eight points separate the two teams. It'll be quite interesting to see what they talk about in the 
Thames Valley Cavalier bench right now. Uh, Hemelstorm will probably have something to be proud of because, you know, apart from the, the fouls that they're drawing, they, they're doing a great job. I guess this might be the biggest lead of the game thus far. I may be wrong. I will refer to the, the live stats to confirm. I think you're most likely correct. Currently, yeah. right now, Mike Williams, I'm calling him just zero, number zero. He's got 21, four rebounds and three assists. He's leading the way for the Hemel Storm. Got 21 points. Goodness gracious. I'm going to I'm gonna change his name. He's not Mike Williams anymore. He's now Mike Killing Them. You know, what do you, you like what I did with that? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Killing Them. Now, leading the Thames Valley Cavaliers is obviously Akeem Seller with 17 points, eight rebounds and two assists. He's had, a quiet, he's had a quiet second half thus far. He's only caught one rebound, no points. Um, Blaine Ferguson has 15, so that's good to see. Um, Charles Aqua Davis is the next top scorer with seven. Let's see what the last four minutes of the third quarter brings to the game. I think Lewis Champions needs to start scoring a bit. I think he's being a bit passive. A lot of the shots, that I, a lot of the passes I've seen him catch, a lot of the passes that I've seen him catch, He's been a bit hesitant and only looking for Hakeem. I think he needs to shoot that to kind of relieve Hakeem. You know something I really like? I like the opportunity to be on the camera. What's up, guys? <laughs> Give a little wave, a little shout out. That is me in the flesh, baby. Tossing over lesser. Justin and Hitchman Justin, over of here. Course. Sorry, I said your name. Well, Give them your name again. Sorry. Justin Hitchman. Uh, you <laughs> want to give up my government. I didn't want him, but... <laughs> Teo Rufusi recovering the offensive rebound. Body dancing. Uh, <laughs> makes it. <laughs> Flopping, warning, flopping. Another one. Vody hits a shot, I guess a flopping. Uh, but see, just warning through the post. Just see him again. Uh. Oh, oh, over Blaine. Vody did the, the young man's. The nah, you can't side call step. a flop on that now. Well, John, they're going to have done. John Leticia, you can't call a flop on that. He was in his cylinder, like I said. If someone's in your cylinder, that's the natural motion you're going to do, is going to fall just for your safety. Call it. Stop all the safety talk, man. It's, it's, a, it's a flop. Why is he on the ground? <laughs> it's not a flop. He, fell. He, he was in the cylinder. No foul was called, man. And he knows what he's doing. And John Letizia and Bodie exchange words. John smiling because uh, <laughs> he knows no matter what Bodie just said, he's going to get that tech if he does that again. Oh, John's looking me dead in my eyes. look over here. He's like, Justin, I know that's what you like. <laughs> well. <laughs> all right. So let's go into the comments right over here. Uh, the ISO podcast, Taylor Johnson injured. I'm not too sure. Uh, possibly. Uh, as a podcast again tossing stop Mike killing them really you don't like that man I'm, I'm a, you know I'm a part time rhymer I had to take something else up since couldn't couldn't be on a D1 team right now so I have to wait Hakeem Silla gets it to go though makes some space between him and the player gets it in clean Shaq goes and one and one on Silla goodness gracious see they weren't too bothered about that basket they knew they want to get another one in transition and they did with Shaquille Lewis transition over here Silla not getting back in time well he did make the basket perhaps he needed help, some help from other teammates but uh, in any case I think that was Iman one more shot to go for <laughs> Shaq Lewis and he does what Shaq does best just like the NBA Shaq he's quite high percentage when it comes to well not free throws but uh, <laughs> field goal percentage that is uh, Hemel back into the zone, switching it up on Trans Valley. Sean F, you guys are great as com you guys do greatest commentators. Thank you, sir. I hope you're well, and I hope that uh, there you go. There's Blaine Freckleton again. Blaine Freckleton hits the shot. I hope that you uh, at everybody on social media, letting them know because um, you know it's you guys that give us the energy to keep going. Shaq shoots a shot. Oh, I was typically surprised that he missed that. To be honest, man, uh, it looked like a good shot, and that was a good shot to take. The icon. The Icon 145 flopping is part of the game. Get out of here, man. What are you, related to James Harden? <laughs> Rebound recovered by <laughs> Ivan Resk. I can see Blaine is going to start to pull it now. He's got the blood in his eyes. Wow. Just, did you see that? He used his right hand, I know. Oh, bro. my goodness. <laughs> I see you, Lewis Champion. Uh, we might have to talk to get that on replay. We saw Lewis Champion use his right hand. I thought that was someone else. It only counts if he makes it. Aqua Davis now passes the double-digit mark as this whole team give him a standing ovation. Round of applause. Four points separate in the two teams. Both teams with four fouls apiece.
Now Bodie on the ball, looking. Another reversal. Bodie about to shoot this again, I tell you that. He has to get up. Oh, yeah. Gets a hand on it. Uh, like I said, Akeem is a really good... Akeem's defender. going coast to coast. He's not going to draw the foul. Yeah, and he's not, because that's a good bucket. That should be a flop. No, no, that's not a flop, but that's just, a, yeah. just, just not look what Taylor wanted it to be. Look at Valley's bench. They're all celebrating. They're him. all celebrating. They're hitting the court now. Mm. All manner of men. Who's number 20 with the hoodie on? He's not on the team list, I don't think, but... Uh, <laughs> Interesting to see. Um, someone said in the comment section earlier that he's the best shooter in the building. Well, who's that? Um, I don't know. Someone said it in the comment section if you scroll up. Which guy? Um, Pete Depich. Oh, Pete Depich. Oh, absolutely. Man. I wouldn't know about that at all. Absolutely. I saw him shooting between the two games yesterday, man. He was money from out of bounds. Goodness gracious. And he doesn't even need a warm up. I think Blaine is the new up and coming good shooter. Sean F., not in my house. Absolutely. That's what Silla's thinking. Get out of here, Bodie. What are you talking about, son? Clapping my player's face again. My player's face again. Little tongue twister for you. Icon 145. James Harden gives teams 30 plus a night. So I'm going to answer you like Tupac. Yeah, but he got it in a sleazy way. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, listen to Changes. Popular song by Tupac. You're showing your age there now. Nah, man. I mean, Tupac, he... he you know, this was ages. I think he made that song before I was born. I don't know when it was These made. These young kids ain't listening to no Tupac right well, now. They know who Tupac is, man. Everyone, everyone knows a little Tupac. It's the same way. I know about Tony Blair, but I don't know Tony Blair. I don't know about Tupac like that. <laughs> <laughs> young EJ Blaine time. Wish, wrist watch, wrist watch. Like that. Wrist watch, wrist watch emoji. <laughs> You need that juice, bro. I, li I like talking. I like actually describing the emojis. I don't know. It's just a, a thing which I'm adding to my game. So, guys, hit me up with some emojis and I'll call them out. Wristwatch, wristwatch. Justin, this one's for you as you're back in the storm. Sarah Adlington. Come, Come on, storm. storm. Come on, storm. There's a, there's a lot of uh, full stops afterwards. <laughs> Come like, on. Get, get it together. <laughs> It's true, uh, they had an eight point lead. The icon 145, lol, that's just the way it is. I like <laughs> you, brother. I like you, man. You to reveal your face. Don't get a display picture on your YouTube, bro. Why are you, why are you hiding, man? You, you know, two pack, man. You deserve to be on the, you know, to have your face internationally known. Right, Bodhi Adelora advancing the ball. Looks like Mike Williams is a bit injured. Oh, Jack Burnell in the game. Guess what they're looking for? Oh. oh. Ref didn't call it. Don't count. He, he's, he's giving it the one two step for no reason. Oh, Brody Sheen over those guys? Getting it to go. That, that's his shot. He's been making a lot of those today. Brody Sheen from behind his head. He, he's, he's a master. He's, he's learned it for a reason. When you're you short, know, you need to know how to get the sharp over hot, taller defenders and clutch times. He's you know just what that. that is, Tossin? That's pump baking on a jump shot. That's what he's basically doing. That's so you can't get blocked. Oh. And um, it looks like Charles Aqua Davis, though he's hit. Oh, he's allotted 10 points so far. Seems like he's still shooting at every opportunity he has as the 10th Valley Cavaliers are four points behind. That's a careless pass by Boldy. Oh, the Justin, the ball's near us. Get it. Get a touch. Oh, damn. Didn't oh, get quick we, enough. we almost had a chance. Darn it. <laughs> this is my range. From this where we are, this is my range. I, I think I can make a few here. BRN State. Snowflake, 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 snowflake. <laughs> BRN State, snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. Heidi cuts, basketball, thunder, basketball. As Lewis Champion goes wide and the ball's actually in the Storm's hand. Yeah, let's say Storm rather than thunder. Let's leave that for tomorrow. 26 seconds left on the clock for the third quarter. Jack Bennell doing what we know. There's that sound. Blade <laughs> knew he let him go. He shouldn't have let him go. Just hit, hit that sound effects button for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming. I mean, Resk about to turn. Oh, Ooh. that's a travel ref. He Come on, ref. Got a bit um, unbalanced there. Charles shooting again. Good grief. I mean, he did have to, but um, quite interesting. Sarah Adlington, dab, dab, dab. I like it. So the score is at the end of the third quarter 65 to Hemel, 80, no, 58 to Thames Valley Cavaliers. Guys, who do you think is going to win it? Most importantly, I mean, you know, 
Justin and I, we're, we're different to your regular commentators. We are biased. Um, whilst Hemmelstorm are seven points up, uh, and I'm backing the Cavs for today and Justin the Storm, what do you, do you think is going to win and who's going to be the top scorer? I mean, right now, who's leading top scorers, Just Leading top scorers for the Hemel Storm is Mike Williams again, still with 21. Close second is Greg Polian with 12 points. Mike Williams is joined in good company with Hakeem Silla, who has 21 now, nine rebounds. So he was able to get a little thing going. And uh, Hemel are actually led in rebounds by Teo Oyafusi, who is a hell of a rebounder as well when he's ready. And, you know, he's showing it today. Um, Blaine's woken up. He's got 19 points, two rebounds, two assists. Charles Aqua Davis and Bodhi Adelawala, 10 points apiece. Let's see what's going to happen right now. Now, the, I think the first five minutes of this game is going di- to dictate who wins. I think if Hemel go on the run here, extend the lead to double digits they should win now if Thames Valley obviously closed the margin to at least three to four points I think it's definitely their game it could be anyone's game guys make sure that you are subscribed to Basketball England on YouTube hit that red button and hit that bell because that bell will let you know when the streams are coming so you don't have to follow those links and all that kind of stuff that can get a bit that could be a bit difficult right yeah and to obviously have updates on the Elins trophy with the other games please follow them on Twitter whilst you had it follow us too at the Borders Voice that on, on social media just let's actually give our personal ones as well uh, my personal at on Twitter is Justin underscore NO12 that's my jersey number make sure you get it for me when I come to your team and mine at Toss underscore Papa P-A-P-A well I spelled Toss as well <laughs> T-O-S <laughs> T-O-S underscore P-A-P-A Instagram and Twitter so remember what I said, the first five minutes are going to be very crucial for both teams. I think it's going to be, you know, these teams have stopped fouling one another. I think if Mike Williams is able to keep drawing these fouls, it might be quite hard for the Cavs to to come out victorious in this game. Mike Williams high post. He looks like he's going to turn around. Oh, finding Paulian up top. Oh, come on now. Touch yeah. the ball with your right hand son. Lewis Champion, bring up the ball. So the Hemel Storm have gone back into the zone. Right. So it looks like they're going to try and get that ball in that high post place like I spoke to you about. But Blaine's able to get right through, turn the corner and one. That's right. That's right. He's not just a shooter. He's confirmed it. He's confirmed the, the hypothesis indeed. 21 points for him too. I think the power's in his hair. We'll just have a little look back at Gregory Polian's shot, which wasn't recovered. Veered quite a bit to the left. Rebound covered by Lewis Champion. One more shot for Blaine Freckleton. He leads all scorers today with 22 now, I believe. Yes. Yeah, that is true. Guys, whilst you're listening, let me know what game you're most interested to watch tomorrow and why. Not just which game, but why also. Make sure you follow instructions, guys. <laughs> Mid-range. Uh, Boldy. He's letting Blaine know. Is that, that is my shot. Bode Don't let me get to the spot. If you let me get to that spot, I'm going to hit it in your face. What's it that Kanye West and um, Jay-Z used to say? Don't let me get into my zone. Yeah. Finds better here. Hetro is calling for the ball. He better finish if he's going to call for it. Oh, there is nothing worse. Teo. Someone, he draws the foul. I think that's Teo Fusi. I think it's on Jack Vanell. No, it's Teo oh, Fusi. Teo Fusi again. Well... Teo Fusi's got a fair few now. Three fouls. Oh. Three fouls. That's okay. Would have imagined it would be four. I mean, of course, he has five fouls to give, as we know well. Justin, that's your mantra. Yeah, definitely. If you've got fouls, man, you might as well use them wisely. Fourth quarter, he has to leave them all out on the floor now anyway. Andre F. Yeah, Blaine. Jason Tucker, Blaine cooking. Icon 145. Whoever's back court performs better will win the game. Hey, you're not giving enough credit to the big guys here, man. They're putting in a shift. But no, absolutely, I believe that the back court are doing well. It becomes... It looks like it's the Blaine... Bodhi show so far in this I hope quarter. Greg could box out Hakeem right here because this could be a three point conversion Barry Brown Barry Brown go Blaine go <laughs> a little fumble there Jamie Hayes Bodhi has the ability to take over a game absolutely oh speaking of taking over <laughs> Bodhi getting a turnover passing the ball Hakeem still running the floor like a like a racehorse <laughs> he now has 23 points of his own and the score is four points between the two teams I, I did say they have to get it within this four points turns out they are making a big run here 67 63 
storm up by four. Oh, I, I like the energy of oh, that defense. Tricky lane. Oh, I, I was almost going to press that sound effects button with the swish. And one. That's and a big four. take. Mike killing them as he's flexing on them, Mike Williams. For those of you who don't appreciate the ad-libs I'm giving to his surname. He'll, he'll shoot one more. Look at him getting strong on Blaine Freckleton. Looks like he, Blaine was trying to draw some form of a charge. Unable to do so. Perhaps he was in the area. Perhaps he moved. Not quite able to see from this angle. Uh, I think the ref ain't falling for these flopping calls anymore. I think they're aware. I think that's what they were talking about in the huddle. A lot of players are flopping around. It's good they taking control. Well if, well, if he's still flopping, he needs to be careful because one more flop, he's out the game. So, as he's already got one off sportsman like Far for doing so. Or a technical, rather. Hamill back into the zone. Quite interested that... Um, Thames Valley are opting for the oh playing yeah. giving the whoop de woo skip to Malu <laughs> layup. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that was nice. The Blaine looked at us there. That was put nice. him in the spin cycle. He's Blaine, laughing on was, defense. He said, that "Take was that, nice Bodie." He's smiling because he knows I'm talking all types of rubbish and <laughs> singing his praises. Oh, Bodie going up and under. <laughs> he gets blocked by he Bernard Hector. He's not able to hold on to it. Ooh. Quite quite interested to see that the first look for Thames Valley in the zone is actually to pick a roll, and it's quite um. It seemed to work quite well for them because I think it's, it is a good posi position because obviously you draw two defenders towards the ball that leaves the back open. Yeah. And that's why Blaine is able to get to the basket both times. Absolutely. Looks like they're going to go for that again as Silla oh. comes up. Oh, finds Ayman. Oh, okay, good pass. They're mixing Iman it up. Ayman to Hetro. Okay, look at the <laughs> the LeBron celebration, I would call it, that uh, the running man that Ayman Resk is doing. Okay, good screen. S three points still between the two teams. That's something new I haven't seen Chuck Bennell do. Oh, Mike Williams goes right into his oh. shot right there. That was a rhythm shot. Um, yeah. Unable to hit it, but showed good confidence. He missed the beat. He missed the beat on the rim. I mean, Resk finds being found. That's great defense. Put a body in the passing lane. I always get nervous. Justin, look at the camera. <laughs> I don't, do you ever get nervous when a left-handed guy passes to another left-handed guy? I, it makes me... <laughs> why, why would you get nervous? <laughs> well, did you see how Lewis Champion just passed to Ayman there? It looked like, man, they looked like they had two hands between the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was silly. An over-reliance on that left hand. Silla found Good him patience. again. He's cooking, and that's four fouls. You know what? You know what, Just? Nearly three minutes have gone, or just over three minutes have gone, and Hem have got a halfway through, more than halfway through their team foul situation right now. So yeah. it'll be interesting. I think Levi Noel's coming into the game. There will be, is that a timeout call? Or no. is that a sub? I think they're just showing some good team spirit, everyone getting up when someone comes in and out. I'm not quite sure what Silla did there. He might have popped to the, to the bench with some water. That special juice. I'm sure that's where it'll be if it, if it was anywhere in this gym. He's not getting any of mine. <laughs> Shoot free throws quite weird though. That was a open palm. Trying to high five the basket. This is the first one. Still three points between the two team teams. Let's see if he cleans up his form. Gets it to go. Andre F. Blaine with the sizzle. Barry Brown. Sizzle for rizzle. For rizzle. <laughs> you guys are having jokes in the comment. In for the sizzle comments. my nizzle. <laughs> the ball now in Jack Bennell's hands. Finding Bodie. What's Bodie going to do? Is he going to shoot? Oh, he's going to find. Oh, he's trying to find Greg. It looks like these guys are targeting Blaine Freckleton usually and then going at him because Ironman is tall. Oh, that is a But not tall shot. enough, said Greg Polian, and he hits a shot over him anyway. I, I, like I said, he's actually added some layers to his game. He didn't have that last season. Sarah Adlington, we have three lefties in the family. <laughs> you probably know exactly what I'm talking about then. And Silla gets it to go, muscle man. It's not muscle, bro. It's, it's wisdom. athleticism. It was wisdom. It was it's athleticism. Wise. Touched his forehead and said, yep, this is a bucket. Leaves all scores with 25 now. Two points between the two teams, five minutes, just over half the quarter left. Oh, I think you should have shot the first one. off the dribble. That was I, impressive to see. I think he should have shot the first one. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, unlucky for... It's a, it's a, it is a tough skill. A lot of players do not have it. Bodhi lying on the floor like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's quite interesting? Bodhi actually fell on the court and then rolled out of the court. I, I don't know if it's to keep the floor wet or it's kind of some dramatics. I, I, but think, I think it's the board head. And like It has like, what's it called? Not friction, but it helps you slide. Slick. Yeah, oh, slick. he's 
Oh, that might have been a foul. <laughs> that might have been a foul, but uh, no one's watching. See no evil. By Ayman Resk, who's not able to convert. Oh. Offensive foul. Who won? Ben Hedra no, letting the No, Levi, no. That know. was foul is on hooking. He hooked. You can't give people the strong arm. You have to play honestly. I know people want to give people the chicken wing. Yeah. But I already told you guys, ain't nothing but a chicken wing. And sometimes that's all it is. Justin, speaking about that, are we going wing stop after this? Ah, oh, man, no, too expensive, man. I'm sure they got a, <laughs> <laughs> a local chicken and chippery that we can tap into with a little some spicy sauce. All right. Bernard Hedra taking patience here. I think he's going to shoot it. Yeah, he is. he is. He ain't a great shooter. I would encourage him to shoot that as well. He's, the defender definitely encouraged him to shoot it. That's a flop. Yep. That's, a, that's not a flop. That's a blocking foul. That, it, it, there's there's a, a fine line between blocking fouls no, and flopping. No, but he tried to take a charge. That's why it's a flop. So that's why they called a blocking foul on him. He tried Absolutely. to sell it. He was definitely wasn't there in time. Sean F., I love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried chicken and waffles with the maple syrup? I mean, uh, let, let me not talk too much about that. The, the Reading Canadian is not here today, so I'll leave the maple syrup talk for today. The Icon 145, Levi is having a tough, a tough day. He's had some moments. Mm. Funny thing is, the towel girl is obviously Caitlin Ryan. Obviously, we coached her, Tossin, and I think, back in his day. I think she's going to have a good career. But she's been playing for such a young age. Yeah, that's it. Daughter of Dave Ryan, uh, general manager of the then Essex Leopards, I believe, has a similar role to Oakland Wolves. Still in the post once again. You know what's going to happen here. No. Or you don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, that's a crafty. <laughs> you know what, man? Shot there. I always find it funny when people stick their neck out like a little turkey and double pump and shot. <laughs> More like a giraffe, mate. <laughs> Sticking at his neck, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, still in the Cavs' hands. Jason Tucker, great commentary. Black hand clap, black hand clap. Funny as hell. Ha 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 face. No emoji, thank you, brother. <laughs> Hope that you're well. I see that you're playing some Division 1 yourself, if I'm served correct. Or are you, are you not? Uh, he ain't going to give you that, man. <laughs> man. Don't walk to us, we ain't got a whistle. <laughs> oh, I'm is out here getting the tip, but the ball in the end fumbled because of Bodhi Adelaola being there. I think the glisten of Boldy's head kind of put him off. Couldn't get that rebound. I think he went quite hard there, man. I think I think Boldy's gonna have some tough words for you. Remember, he called me on Facebook, bro. He's gonna call you on flipping. I don't know. He's gonna. He's oh, gonna, he's Boldy, gonna Boldy know where I be at. He's gonna send you an MMS. <laughs> 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 or, or call you on Blackberry. I don't know. He could do something. Oh, the tough shot by Mike Williams. Agent Zero, Matt killing them, Williams. Here he goes. How many uh, points he got now, Just? Oh, Mike Williams. He is on twenty-four. Man, and that might even be 26. I know there's a bit of a lag between how quick the live stats update and uh, what we're actually seeing live in the flesh. Looking at the table, four minutes in it to, for them today. They know that um, there's not going to be a second game as they have been in the past two weeks. Sarah Adlington, brilliant commentary. Smile face, teeth face. Hands up, hands up, hands up, white uh, basketball. Thank you very much. You know, every time I see them hands, I always think like, have you seen Bring It On? Is it Bring It On? Man, I don't watch those things. It's Bring It On and they say jazz hands. It always reminds me of them jazz hands. No, I don't, I don't watch those things. I don't know what that is. Icon 145, go to the restaurant called The Bird. Been there, bro. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> but you know what? You should be learning to make that stuff through the lockout. Silla, take uh, it. That's an elbow. I can't call that foul, ref. <laughs> and that's the fourth foul on, on Levi. No, that was definitely a foul. Um, I'm amazed. Offensive first, I'll say. I'm amazed that, um, oh, Lewis Champion surprisingly still has three fouls. Great, great for him. Um, what's quite interesting, though. Oh, sorry, hang on. I said Lewis Champion. That can't be right. Leave, I know. <laughs> they look alike now. <laughs> well, <laughs> On two I, different teams. <laughs> I, I just got mistaken there. I don't know what happened there, but um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> they both they both be fouling. <laughs> <laughs> Flames, flames waving over. Is he going to take it? No. Rebound, basketball blog. Very ambitious from the big man, Iman. Go on, oh, Mike. Yeah. Nice and easy. Gets the go ahead. Not much time in it now. They were if the Thames Valley Cavaliers want to win this game. That being said, already in foul trouble are the Hemelstorm. Sarah Adlington, jazz hands. <laughs> she knows what you're talking about, Just. <laughs> Lewis Champion found it. 
gets it to go. Three points between two teams now. Rebound Boss with Block Great Entertainment from Tossin and Justin. Get the rebound. Thank you so much. Rebound. Tans Valley rebound by Bernard. Oh, he transition now. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's what, yeah, Lewis is very pumped. And there. now he's roaring. Now he's roaring because the score is now drawn. Who knows who's going to win with three minutes 15 left in the game? I'm going to call Lewis Champion Young Simba. That Simba. Roar. Yeah, that roar. You know when Lewis Champion. Uh, oh, no, Lewis Champion got it again. I'm going to call him Buckets. Hey. <laughs> there we go. With the left. On the right side, with the left hand. Lewis Champion is in the name. So maybe it's going to be in the game. Who knows? Maybe that's going to be a, a hint as to who's going to win this game now. No, Tens no. Valley Cavaliers are up. Yeah, that's a big turnaround. Mick Bett. Mick Bett in the house. Legend right here. <laughs> Father of Josh Bett. Um, legendary commentator and coach. I'm talking about Mick here. As Bowie Bowie, gets a shot to I'm go. telling you, that off the dribble shot, once you develop that as a player, it's a lethal weapon to have. That's it. Ah, the commentary coming in now. Kai Walker, can't go wrong with Justin Toss on the commentary. Thank you, brother. Thank you, son. Really appreciate it. Anything but nephew, you know why. Uh, Martel McLemore, OK, Lou. Another shot up. Not able to convert. Brody's in the run. Oh, good in and out. Fake lane there by Brody. Brody's got the real good in and out. Quick one. Because when you're that close to the ground, it's, it's really convincing. Greg Polian gets the friendly roll. The half hook, half floater type of move. Quite interesting now. 80 points first eclipsed by Hemel Storm, but they're only down by two. The Cavaliers, that is. New champion getting hot. Oh. Five burn her head through. And timeout called 80 apiece. Justin, what are you saying now, brother? What are you saying now? It's a tied game, and I did say if they wanted to come back in this game, they had to get within four points within five minutes, and they have done that. Well, they have it indeed. I am crossing my fingers and my toes for the <laughs> Tens Valley Cavaliers. You know, we're a bit unconventional now. Not being, well, unconventional in terms of <laughs> we're supporting teams. <laughs> oh, yeah. But nonetheless, it's quite, it's been an interesting showdown for sure. Someone's going to leave with an L today and let's see who it's going to be. Oh, Akeem Silla, he's actually killing on both ends. 26 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. He's got the highest index of the day. It's like, it's just like I'm a psychic, Justin. How did I see that coming? Well, we don't know that. Mike Williams, like I say, what's your name for him? Mike Williams. Mike killing them, Williams. Mike killing them, Williams. 28 points, five rebounds, three assists. Um, I'm pretty sure some experience is going to kick in from Hemel, and I think they're going to convert these next few possessions into their favour, and I think they're going to win this game. Right. So we've got some comments in the in the YouTube from YouTube. We have, let's see the name, Miles Newark. He goes storm, 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 storm. So it seems like, from the YouTube comments, storm will have the the support that they need. Just what do you think? I know yeah, you're supporting they them. definitely have the biggest sort of fan base. Um, I always like playing that storm. They always have a, amazing fans. Um, the atmosphere is very intense. You don't want to be the away team when you come to the storm's home venue. Absolutely. One minute forty-five, eighty apiece. Oh, there you go. You have to find out earlier, Louis and Levi. See, I did the same thing what you did. Oh, do the foul early. I think that was on Ayman Resk, a blocking foul on the side. Let's see where it's called. Not quite sure. Oh, bad boy 5000. TVC, 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 TVC. Seems like we've got some competition here. We've got some, uh, some people beating their chest for the other team now. So what are you going to do? Nicola H, Orange Heart, Black Heart, Storm. Orange Heart, Black Heart, Storm. <laughs> Sorry, that's getting a tongue twister right here, but uh, that's some support for the for the team just very local here to the, I believe, the A414 or the M1, whichever way you want to drive. Can't get the first one to go, Mike Williams. You need to be clutch. It's all well and good. I, th I think Mike Williams is in some pain. Keeps moving his foot. I think he that's rolled it. his ankle or tweaked it. Hopefully he could end the game. The clutch factor is, is you know, is key in this game he's missed the first free throw will he get the second he's missed both of them it's all well and good to score in the first 39 minutes but this is where stars are made right here in the L Lynch trophy now nah, he's getting raised <laughs> <laughs> I saw that well back door oh, good oh yeah but, uh, he oh, oh baby he he Hetro you need to take time with that don't Lewis worry champion. about it Lewis Champion said 
Nah, he's, he's not baby Simba. Champion. He's not baby Simba anymore. He's grown. <laughs> he's grown Simba now. He's walked around. You know what I mean? Mufasa's not in the picture anymore. Walk next to the lake. He's a big man now. Big yeah, lion. Well. I think this is what Bodie likes. This is the matchup he likes. Bodie likes it. Bodie lives for these moments. Oh, he passed. Ooh, that's a bad pass though. Out of bounds. And guess what? Guess what, folks? It looks like tossing the sidekick or tossing the, the wise, the oracle, whatever you may be right if the game was to finish 54 it's seconds not over from now. To the fat lady sings tossing. Listen. And I don't see her around. I'll tell you what's going to be interesting, though. This is the biggest lead I've seen in a little while from the Cavaliers. They've gone back into the zone. Blaine shoots. Doesn't get it to go. Ivan gets it with his tall hands. Able to throw it out to Blaine. Swinging it to the same guy again. Pump fakes. Oh, looks like Brody might have nearly flopped on that. Gets nothing good. to go there. They need a good basket here. And this is a it. bit too much here. Finds and, and one. one called. Good take. Now Levi needs to make this free throw. I'm going to call that a hezzy. That's quite interesting what he did there because, you know, he was able to use his momentum in order to score. There's the replay right there. High off the glass. That's a good Foul. use of his body. He took the contact with his body. High off the glass. Foul on Silla. We'll have one more. 24 seconds to play. Not to worry about the four fouls because there's only 24 seconds to play for unless he uh, has a funny bit if soon. If I was Mr. Banks, I'll call a timeout here. And he misses it. One more to come. One more to come. Now, Levi, you need to make this, young fella. And for this, I blame the Thames Valley Cavaliers. They stepped in a bit early. The ball has to leave the hand of the shooter before they can get in to try and get the rebound. They, they went a bit early. So we'll see that again. 24.1, who do you have winning? And what else do you guys think? Elite smart athletes tossing the profit. Thank you, brother. I prophesy. A tied game. Tied game. So let me prophesy this. Dec I don't Sid think he's going to score this, and Sid it's going to go into overtime. Sid is going to draw the foul. Game's going to be one to free throw line. He's going to hit one uh, of the I two. I think they matched up. They're going four low. Is this four low? One shot in the game. Yeah. Look, I told you. How did I know it was going to be four low? Lewis Champion loves his four low. Hey, it doesn't count if you count if you call it once you see it. But eight seconds in it, six seconds rather. Let's see what he does. That's a bad shot. It's not a bad shot, ladies and gents. He's a champion. What do you know about champions? Get the camera over to that man. He's a champion. I might take off this mic right now, run over to him, and scrag up his head. <laughs> Doesn't go and do it. There All we right. go. I'm not going to do it. Ladies and gents, what a game. It counts. It looks like there's one second left. Though I would have sworn that would have been time elapsed. Lewis champion. I am a champion. Perhaps tossing the Prophet has said it once again. I didn't, you know, I thought Silla was going to shoot it, but oh yeah, well, that was epic. Ladies and gents, can you well, feel the tension in the room? One second left. On the I will definitely say, Lewis, Lewis had some big confidence there to take that shot. Justin, what are you saying about my Thames Valley Cavaliers again, brother? Uh, again, I did not see the fat lady here, so they got one second. They could still get the shot off. Who do you think this ball is going to in the Hemel Storm's hands? Tossing the Prophet says... Doesn't matter who it goes to, they're not going to get the shot off. They're going to find Jack Bunnell, but he's not going to make it. I think Mike Williams is going to get the ball, and he's going to do what he does best. You know what? That might not be a bad shot. It might be indeed. They usually go to Mike Williams when it comes down to these last seconds in any quarter. So I think it's going to go to Mike Williams. Sean F. got me screaming out in my house. CMB, skills training. Wow. Sarah Adlington, o OMG, fair play. Fair play shots of the game. Julie Grant, clap, 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 clap. Andre F, ice in his veins champion. Wow, it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time to be watching this game. It is so exciting. This is the best game I've seen so far. Uh, week three, L Lynch Trophy, venue two. Tossing and Joss on the mic. Damn right. <laughs> Ran out of things to say there. It's Greg shaking his head at us. He's like, I can't believe he hit that shot. Hey, he's been hot. Again, now, Tenzai like looking very serious in their, in their face. They look like they have something written up. Exactly like I said. Looks like uh, Jack Bennell's not on the ground, so it will be a... Okay, it looks like they're going to run that scissor play, the, the elevator play. And there'll be no more of that. Unlucky one. How about that for a Saturday afternoon, ladies and gents? That definitely got my heart going there. It was a very close game. Don't say... Don't say that we don't cover... The hottest games out here. Low-key hoops, that's a bad shot. He's quoting you, Just. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my boy Ryan doing that, bro, because uh, absolutely, he said it was I, a bad shot. I think it was a bad shot because he went just a second a bit too early, but Justin, that's where his champion shot, I guess. Justin, where's that fat lady singing again? 
I don't know. She must be in a car park. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an incredible game. Just let's tap into the live stats real, real quick, just to see who did what. Uh, Mike Williams leads all scorers with 28. Silla led the scores for the 10th Valley Cavaliers with 26, playing for Eccleton with 24, and Lewis, champion, champion. I'm just going to give him another middle, you know, his surname as another surname, rather. <laughs> Lewis, champion, champion, finishes with 16 with a killer shot right there. Just what did you see there, bro? Yeah, um, they, came, they came to play in the second half. I think 10th Valley, they took it a bit too casual because they got a good freeze at the start. Hemel went into a good zone. Frustrated Thames Valley at times, but then, so like someone said in the comment section, the better team won today. I think Thames Valley were a bit more um, clinical down the stretch. They got better shots. They were moving the ball much better. Tossing the profit. I wouldn't Stretch say you're again. a profit. So if you're such a profit, what do you? What's your verdict for tomorrow's game against? I, I only use my prophecy skills for the games that I'm commentating. So I'll oh, be watching like oh, a fan okay. commenting like a... It's, oh, it's only selective. Oh, okay. okay. Selective, selective. Okay. I only use it when I need to, you know. <laughs> there was once a saying, I think it was Lord of the Rings, it's not knowing, it's, you know, the, the power comes from knowing when not to kill. Okay. I use my prophecy skills <laughs> <laughs> when I need them. Oh, I so know. this is how it goes, guys. I um, hope you guys have had an interesting uh, afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That's what it does when you hit it. Uh, Basketball England, that's where it's definitely at. Tossing over here. Justin over there. Thank you. And obviously, follow the l Lynch Trophy on Twitter to get your updates on other scores around the league. Just to give you an idea of to what games are happening tomorrow. At noon tomorrow, we have Solent. At the Solent Sports Complex, we have Barking Abbey London Lions versus Essex, Rebel, Essex Rebels. And after, at the same venue, we have Team Solent Kestrels versus the Worthing Thunder. 3, 3 p.m. Now, that's it for us today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed our commentary and obviously the game today. That's it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Tossin and Justin, over and out. Take care. Peace. Bye.